Hi, Kipsters. Today we're working on skill in seventh grade, B2. Determine the themes of short stories. So we did some quotation and close reading analysis yesterday where we matched up quotes and themes. Today you're going to read a short story and then decide which is the main theme. Let's look at the example. Remember, you can always look at the example as you are going through. You're going to read the story and then choose the theme. Remember that the theme is a key message or lesson communicated in the story. Usually themes aren't stated out in the open. You have to make an inference. Why did the characters act the way they did? How did they grow or change? Think about how your inferences apply to the wider world. The story might suggest an observation about people in general. Remember, themes need to be slightly more general. Or a lesson you could use in your own life. These ideas and morals are the themes of the story. When you identify a theme or lesson, you should be able to support it with details from the story. So Angela realized she had built up a lot of fear about something when the actual event was no big deal. Therefore, the wider theme is waiting to do something can make it worse than actually doing it. Let's try practice together. Mina's mission. It broke Mina's heart so that, that so many, many adorable dogs in the world needed homes. That's why she started to volunteer at the dog shelter on Saturday. And with her deep love of dogs, she knew she could persuade people to adopt them. On her first morning, a family of two young boys came in. The boys smiled and waved as the dogs behind the glass. Is that brown dog good with children, their mother asked. Um, she's friendly with me, said Mina, but I'll have to ask about that. She loves to play ball. And look at those big eyes. What breed is she? Mina didn't know. Where is she from? Mina hesitated. Let me check, she said. She's so cute, though, isn't she? All day long, Mina was asked questions she didn't have the answers to. When the shelter closed in the afternoon, not one dog had a new home. Mina sighed. Before she left, she wrote down each dog's breed. The next time she volunteered, she interviewed the shelter employees about each dog's background and temperament. At home, Mina did more research online. The following Saturday, a man walked into the shelter in the morning. He was looking for a young dog with a lot of energy to take on hikes with him and his grandkids. I have just the dog for you, Mina said. She introduced him to Mabel, a two-year-old Vishla. She explained that the Vishla breed is known to love hiking and is good with families. Mina had all the information the man wanted, and her heart soared when he asked for an adoption application. So Mina's problem was that she wanted to help get as many dogs adopted as possible. But at first, um, not one dog had a new home. So she wasn't successful. And she wasn't successful because she didn't know, right? She hesitated and she didn't know. Then she learns more and she's successful. So what inference can we make? Mina had to know something more, had to know more things in order to meet her goal. All right, so let's generalize that. Is it about being too pushy or is it about knowledge is the key to persuading people? I think it's knowledge is the key to persuasion. Yep. Again, I'm seeing these yellow dots, so I'm on part two. Now I'm gonna match a quote that really supports it or what my evidence is. Select the quotation from the story that strongly suggests that knowledge is the key to persuasion. Mina had all the information the man wanted and her heart soared when he asked for an adoption ap application. Information, and she persuaded a, the man to get the dog. Deep love of dogs. She knew she could persuade people to adopt them. Well, this one says persuade, but it says love of dogs, not information or knowledge. It's the top one. All right, Kipsters, remember to read the explanations and solutions if you get it wrong. Do not give up. Take notes if you need to and get that 90 smart score. See you tomorrow.